Hello, I'm Jerry Fork, the beer review guy. Got a beer from Renaissance Brewing. Renaissance Brewing Company out of Tulsa, Oklahoma. The folks there contributed four of their flagship beers to me the other day. It was very nice of them. Um, so I thought I'd start. I thought I'd start off with. I mean, it's the temperature is 65 degrees outside, but it's really windy, and it's got a coolness in the air. Just kind of, I don't know. We got other days that might be colder, but this just seems like a, a stout day. So this one here is called Black Gold Texas Tea. No, no, I'm just kidding. Black Gold Hybrid Stout. <clears throat> it is a 5.6% ABV, 27 IBUs, and 41.6 SRMs. Oklahoma born and brewed, it says. Brewed and packaged by Renaissance Brewing Company, Tulsa, Oklahoma. On the back here, it says, <clears throat> A hybrid stout inspired by the, by the English as well as the Irish, dosed with Fugles and Goldings hops, as well as hefty additions of black patent and roasted barley. However, we also like to call it a chocolate stout because of the chocolatey goodness provided by the chocolate roasted malt. Ooh, that sounds different. Expect this beer to, to see some time. Let's see. Expect this beer to see some time in whiskey barrels with additions of cherries, chocolate nibs, coffee, and whatever else we can come up with. Once once black, no turning back, says. <laughs> well, there's all kinds of stuff going on in here, isn't there? Okay, let's see what I get out of it. <clears throat> Showing some, looks like some oil rigs or something. Black gold is what they called oil back in the day. I don't know, maybe they still do. I let this set out for about an hour getting to room temperature which is that's where I like to drink in my porters and stouts so <clears throat> oh, that looks really nice wow look at that chocolatey head there starting off with the three finger three finger head looks really dark <clears throat> Oh, wow. That smells really nice. Chocolate nibs are always nice. I've had a, a stout with those in it before. <clears throat> I'm going to do a little swish, swish, swish here. Just in case. You never know. I want to get all the, the bottom goodness out of here, too. I see some floaters in there. Uh, roasted barley. Let's see. I'm trying to think of what that might be in there. Cherries. There's just no telling. Yeah, that looks really nice. That looks really. That looks real black. Definitely. <clears throat> Got a nice foamy. Soapy, frothy looking head there. Looks kind of has that rich kind of kind of appearance which which I like. Um, um yeah, okay. Let's see what we got. Okay, on the nose, I'm getting the chocolateiness right off. Chocolate malts. I think that's what they mentioned. Chocolate nibs. <clears throat> uh, chocolatey goodness. Chocolate roasted malt. Yeah. There's a, a very light roastiness on the nose. Might be just a little bit. A little coffee on the back end of, of the aroma. 
Yeah, you get it when you get a, a deep inhale. Um, so there's a little bit of, might be a little vanilla kind of aroma. I know it didn't say that on there, but kind of what I'm getting. Light maltiness, just regular maltiness. It smells really good. Okay, let's see what we get on the taste now. Nice. Nice. Full body, light carbonation. Um, <clears throat> you got that that uh, sweetness up front. <clears throat> Subsides off into a, a coffee bitterness on the back end. <clears throat> yeah, ooh. A big roastiness on the aftertaste. You get those chocolate nibs, <clears throat> get the, those uh, peculiar hops that are in there. Um, <clears throat> I say peculiar because I don't know nothing about them. But you can tell what they are, I and mean, you can kind of tell. Golding's hops, I've heard of those. Um, Fugles, I have heard of those too. Excuse me, black patent and roasted barley. I'm not familiar with black patent roasted barley. Um, but yeah, uh, <clears throat> definitely I would consider this a chocolate stout as well. Flavorsome, nice, easy drinking stout. Um, you get some sweetness and you get some bitterness. Nice little balance. Very enjoyable. Okay. There we go. <clears throat> I have seen um, some of their stuff in liquor stores. Um around Tulsa. So they, they do have a uh, tap room at the brewery. A lot of the breweries do. Um, so if you're in Tulsa, you can go to the brewery. You can possibly find their stuff at liquor stores. Um, so check them out. There you go. All right. Well, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Thank you to the folks at Renaissance Brewing Company for giving me these. I appreciate that. It was very nice of you guys. Indoor gals. Okay. Well, we shall see you all on the next one.